Hi, I'm Catherine from Catherine Learn Stuff. If you've been following me on my blog over the last few years, you'll know that I didn't have a printer for the longest time, and I just used my Cricut to make drawings instead. And then I went off and I bought a sublimation printer first, and then I bought a regular printer. And one of the things that I've found people often ask is, can you use a sublimation printer to just do regular printing? So what I've done is I've gone and I've printed off a few different pictures and text documents just to show you the difference between what a sublimation printer looks like when you print it on regular paper and what a regular printer looks like. I've got two of the exact same printer, an Epson EcoTank, um, just one is converted to a sublimation printer and the other one is converted into a, isn't converted at all, it's just a regular printer. So I've gone ahead and made some prints, so let's look over those and see how they turned out. So I've gone ahead and printed out a color picture of my dog. And here we have him on regular paper with regular ink, and here we have him on regular paper with sublimation ink. So you'll notice that the regular ink has a more vibrant color and the sublimation ink has a less vibrant color. It's more muted and it's not as easy to see all the details. But you will notice that you can still see the colors and you can still see the image. Um, this one might be too dark of an example, but you can see, like you can print it and the design and the image does show up. And then just like on the back, it's you can see some of the bleed through of the ink, but that's just normal printing. So. When it comes to color printing, you can color print. It's not as vibrant as it is with regular printing, but it still works. So, and then I'm just going to quickly show you here a different example. These are two black and white images and it's really just letters. Nothing crazy. I just wanted to print this out to show you. But on this side here, I've got my sublimation. I actually wrote an S at the back so that I would make sure I got the right one. And this one's the regular one, which is just a R there. So if we look at this, you'll notice that you can see it very well, the sublimation, right? So I'm just gonna take my angle here a little bit. So the sublimation ink, it's not as dark black as the regular ink, but for just printing regular documents or for whatever, you can just use the sublimation printer. And there you have it. So you can print out color images with your sublimation printer and you can print out just regular black and white documents with your sublimation printer and they look pretty much the same as with the black and white looks pretty much the same as the regular printer and the color is a little bit off but for home use it's perfectly fine what i've noticed people have asked is why would you use sublimation ink for printing regular documents because it costs more i have found that on amazon the price of ink for sublimation ink and regular ink is about the same so it's not a huge difference you're not paying um, an exorbitant amount for the sublimation ink extra and so um, I've listed products all the products that I used in this test down below um, don't forget to like comment and subscribe thanks so much for watching